thank you Dr. Dottavio, Dr. Murray, and the other distinguished individuals represented today on stage. Further, none of us would be here today if it weren't for Tarleton's faculty. Thank you professors for working so hard to ensure your students succeed, even if sometimes it takes a little tough love. To the faculty that care for our campus and classrooms, thank you for making Tarleton a productive environment for our students. To all of our friends and family present today, thank you for being here to support the graduating class of 2019. And congratulations to the class of 2019 for reaching this milestone. After four years of late night studying, redefining what it means to be broke, and being told it's on the syllabus, we're finally at the end. As this chapter comes to a bittersweet ending, I want to sincerely thank you all for making the past few years such a wonderful experience. As beautiful as Tarleton's campus is, Tarleton would be just another college if it weren't for everyone doing their part to make the community what it is. Our professors excel at personally mentoring our students and being approachable, down-to-earth human beings. Further, I'm continuously floored by how encouraging Tarleton students are, cheering each other on every step of the way. College is hard, but it'd be impossible without each other's support. I encourage us all to carry these attributes, the best of Tarleton, with us as we venture into the next steps of our lives. Hopefully, we've all learned a thing or two over the past few years. Personally, I learned how to fail. My last semester of high school, I just needed to pass one last final exam, but I didn't. Just like that, I failed out of high school. At the time, I thought it would be impossible to recover. I thought so many doors were now closed that couldn't possibly ever be reopened. But standing here now, I assure you, setbacks are only as permanent as you let them be. Whatever obstacles you met these past four years, I hope you not only got past them, but conquered college because of them. If I hadn't struggled in high school, I wouldn't have worked near as hard in college. Because of the trials we've all encountered these past four years, we are stronger, wiser, and more courageous versions of our previous selves. The obstacles we face are often responsible for our personal growth because they're such good indicators of what we need to do differently to succeed. When I started as an undergraduate research assistant, I was awful about not including data when my experiments didn't work. My lab mentor, Dr. Dustin Edwards, taught me how important negative data is since that's where much of the potential to learn is. When things work out, it's exciting and fantastic, but all the botched experiments up to that point is how we figured out what we needed to do differently to make the experiment succeed. The negative results were fundamental to the experiment's ultimate success. So relish in your struggles. They paved the path for the victory we are commemorating here today. Although we should embrace our trials, we shouldn't forget to celebrate our triumphs. For today, as tempting as it is to be focused on the next step, whether that be a job or, God forbid, more schooling, I encourage you to be present. Whatever hurdles lie ahead, meet those when you get there. For right now, celebrate. Moments like these are so quick to get away, don't let this one pass you by. And finally, for tomorrow, when we're all thrown into the adult world, just know that we are all in the same boat. Although I might sometimes feel like that boat sprung a few leaks, none of us will be the only one feeling uncertain or unprepared for the next steps. A thousand have done it before us, and a thousand will do it again after us. With a little effort and courage, everything will fall into place. Congratulations, class of 2019. We did it.